Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri? quite tasty. Boiled eggs are the best part. Nonsense! Daikon is the centerpiece, Patty. Daikon! Hold up now! That's unexpected. Usually you're happy with anything you can chew through, Rita. That's just how good skewers are. But both Rita and the old man are wrong. Where are they mistaken? The true star of skewers is fish cakes. Especially the white ones. <coughs> fish cakes, is it? And repeat agrees. Well, I don't mind as long as it's tasty.
Why would someone set up a barrier in a place like this? Actually, they discovered the Blastia at the bottom of the oasis and have just been using it as is. A nice person in town told me that. And with it sunk in the oasis, no one could move it. So I guess they had to leave it where it was. No one would trudge out into a scorching wasteland like this just to set up a barrier. Ah, that explains it. Guess there's a reason for everything. Day. Ah, are you going to the Wizened of Kados? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they... I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. 
But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantek, since there's no way to get around them. Should we go back to Mantek and chill out too? Hmm. What are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? Hmm. I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much longer. Yes. It'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparations? No, we're fine. Let's go like we are.
The Flynn Brigade? So, that's the blockade? Yeah. Looks like it was Flynn's brigade's doing, after all. But... what are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights, anyway? With hardcore tactics like this, there ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So, how do we get past this checkpoint? Huh? Seriously? Let's do that! And then? What could they be talking about? Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry, sorry. Now that sounds like fun. How about this? What the hell? Stop it! Settle down! Let's go now. Hey, hey! Don't leave this old man behind! What the? Come back, you! Yuri Lowell! See ya! Have fun! That was pretty slick, old man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. It's our little secret. What is that nonsense? It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Only the Empire has enough power to cut off all the ways in and out of a whole town. Well, the Guild's power is totally different. The Union would never try something like this. It's the Empire's style, crush problems with everything they've got. What are they after? Who do they think they are, sealing off all the roads like this? I think the answer to that lies in Nordopolica. We should hurry before we're caught. This doesn't look good. Do we even have a chance? Oh, 
flickering blaze burn! Fireball! Yeah, we're done! So what was that deal you were talking about? A deal? What sort of deal? With who? You said something about a deal with the old man when we were in Kados. I... Don't tell me you forgot. Uh, no. I haven't forgotten. She forgot. So it's a secret, is it? I'll tell you, Yuri, since I can trust you. I appreciate it. If he works hard here, I'll teach him Judy's measurements. <laughs> you really know how his mind works, don't you? It's not exactly a mystery. Hmm? What's up? Shouldn't we be hurrying along? Hey, you're not as young as you used to be. Let's take it easy. Seconded! What, what, what do you mean? I won't lose! Hey, that was a nice break from things. Thanks. Looks like they aren't following us. That was pretty fun. Hey, this is no game. Seriously. Now that's what I'm talking about. Combining Patty's brain with my technique. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica. These guys mean business. Seriously, even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey! What kind of person is Flynn? He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. Makes sense for someone in Altosk. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. But we should be on our guard. Even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by force. Yeah, I think the Palastrale would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenne. Ugh, oh well. I don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. 
Exactly. Come on, let's get going. Yuri sure is enthusiastic. He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Hmm, well, you could call it strong, I guess. Maybe. What? Are you jealous? Hmm. I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. I am so gonna make you hurt. Ready? A resplendent mystery. Ready? Splash! A resplendent Mr. Mystic, you're done. You like that? Come on, bring it! Come on, bring it! Who loves you, baby? You can't win. Who loves you, baby? You like that? Come on, bring it! You like that? This old man's about dead. Get back! Flickering glaze, burn! Spread thy alluring snare and deliver my enemies unto me! Okay, let's go. Piece of cake! Don't let him trip you up. I'm just getting started. That's the logical outcome. Try not to take too long, okay? Sure. It's completely inactive now, and it was overflowing so much before. Is that how the air was controlled? How could a monster do something like that? Is that air crene safe now? We'll be in trouble if air shoots out of it like before. It doesn't look like you have to worry about that. So why'd the air suddenly shoot out before? That's what's puzzling me. Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon? The probability of that is low at best. If that was the case, it should be emitting air at regular intervals. If air were emitted that frequently, it'd have an effect on the environment. Like how the plants grew so unnaturally in Cave Mock. Looks pretty normal around here to me. So perhaps something else interfered with the air crene and caused it to discharge air? What could do that? Only a formula or blastia could affect air like that. Damn, that would be our fan club. Seems like these knights are just as dedicated as the captain himself. Rita, let's go. Are you done looking at the air crane? Just let me think a little more. If you just need time to think, you'll have plenty of time once we've gotten out of here. Mmm, all right, all right.
If the air cranny was disturbed by... Did you figure anything out? It's still too early to say. I've got some leads, but it's nothing I can be sure of yet. Well, make sure and let us know when you've nailed it down. I will. All right, let's head out. And it'll probably involve you. This doesn't look good. Get ready for anything. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Destruct <laughs> This doesn't look good. Get ready for anything. I am so gonna make you ready. I just thought something up. A resplendent mystery. Ready? Spiral. Ready? Who's next? Yeah. Let's go. 
Take cover. Huh. Guess it's only natural they're guarding this end, too. Patty, do you have any ideas for getting through? Hmm. Raven, can you do something like you did before? Best not to press your luck when the Knights are taking their work so seriously. They don't look that serious from here. I say, woe is me! How has our illustrious Schwann Brigade ever been reduced to playing backup for Flynn? Enough complaining. If you don't like it, we better produce some results. There they are! Capture them! They found us! What is this? You three, don't let him escape! Ah. It isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell. Hey, LeBlanc. It's been a while. Uh, and your highness. What are we gonna do? Oh well. Here goes nothing. Wait. Attention! Y yes sir! Not sure what's going on, but now's our chance. It's nothing. Enough standing around. They'll catch up in no time if we don't get moving. We can't miss this chance. Yeah, let's head for Nordopolica, quick. This looks easy. One shot. What you do? Oh, oh. Come and face me. Oh, power the They look scary.
try? I have an idea. as many nights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet, especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about meeting her. I'm finally gonna be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. Come on out. It'll be okay. Is it alright for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. It'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. I really don't get that logic. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. In other words, um... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more... profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. That's the spirit! Hmm. I wonder if Flynn's already here somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you.
Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But... You can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay then, we promise. Our leader, Bellius, is winged just ahead. Everybody still here? Yes. And 
here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. I wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think, then, that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia, too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed, we have governed this city for ages. Wow, that's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Entelikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You and Lakay are definitely interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison. But what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. Huh, <laughs> as if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? 
She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we mete out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast. It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods! I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Don't hurt us now. Yes! <laughs> 
Ooh, they look scary. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. Shall I heal you? Don't hurt us now. New has gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've gotta go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up.
Harry. What are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be! Nan! Down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Belius's minions, huh? W we're brave, Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! These guys are just going crazy. <sighs> Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. The root of evil? Bellius? You got it all wrong. Just look. 
All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It... it is up to us. To the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You... you monsters are all alike! Judy! Dolce! I'll heal you. You mustn't. Your power is... No! W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Duce Bellius! Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Bellius. Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! Killer. Be killed. Sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me! Was I wrong? wrong? No, you weren't! You weren't! What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live! Shining Force! Shining Force! 
I'm sorry. Oh, really? oh, oh, just grant us your feet, Crash. Clear the I'm sorry.
still be a baby. Run! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. and they were never heard from again.